It helps too. thousands of families across the state getting ready you know, to get together and go fishing. It's so much fun. It's really fun. Yeah. But if there are no fish to catch, it's not as fun. What do you do? That is true. If you're just out there casting a line, there are no fish, you're not fishing. Then you got some fish stories to tell, right? So, all tales. Mm -hmm. we sent hardworking Haley Smith to the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources this morning at their state fish hatchery to see about how they make these fish happen. Uh, and it, it, it smells quite fishy, we understand, Haley. Yes, it sure does. And you know, this line of work is really fishy. Let me just say mm -hmm. it's, uh huh, yeah. But one thing, of course, that they have to do, and they have to do it right to make sure the fish are getting to the right size, is feed them. Ready? Look at them go. It's like a boil. Woo! <laughs> They're fighting they over got, the food. <laughs> <laughs> they are. I'm going to join them because I'm getting hungry too, you know, fight over the food. I don't know if it will be their food or the fish themselves, but they feed them to get them to the right size so that when you catch your fish, you will have a prize fish. Kay Brennan, the next step in our process, okay. what do we do? So we're gonna be weighing the fish and then we're gonna be measuring them okay. to make sure our fish are healthy and they're the length we need them to be. So, so if you just, yeah, just get a fish out of that bucket and we'll, <laughs> Maybe you can give these gloves a shot. It'll help you get a hold of them. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. So uh, uh, I guess this is something you learn first day on the job? Yeah, this will help you grip the fish without hurting them or anything. Okay. Here. Oh, my gosh. Really? Is that for real? Okay. Whoa, we're flicking water. So do okay. we just set him in there? Will yep, he stay? What do you got? Okay, we've got point eight point seven. eight seven eight. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. Whoa. Hi, hi, Ooh. do you want a kiss? Oh, do I dare even do it? He's looking at me like he wants a kiss. Oh, okay, now we gotta measure him. Okay, 42. 42, okay. 40. So would that be, and you guys do it in? Millimeters. Millimeters, okay, 42. And, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, he's going in my boo, I'm sorry. Get back here, fishy. Okay. Oh, he's not looking at you like he wants a kiss. He's looking at you like he wants to be put back in yes. the water. Oh, he's okay now. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. He's okay. back home now? Okay. Real fast, you guys have to hear. How, how many fish do you guys have here? About. So right now we have like 300,000 in there. We have th hundreds of thousands in here. We just had hundreds of thousands of eggs. So and they have to feed them, take care of them, do all of this. Okay, Andrew and Lori, we're going for fish number two. <laughs> Hold Back on to him. you. Whoa, whoa, this one's like a snake. Okay. Hold on. I'm just, okay, stay. <laughs> oh, 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 I got it, I got it. We're good. Okay, go. Oh, we're just going to put you. Okay. All of the work that it takes to keep fish in our lakes and ponds. That's great. All right. Haley Smith live in Springville this morning.